Lee, this is a, a really exciting day for everyone with the under 18s, uh, the new batch coming in to, to join the first year. You, I, I bet you enjoy these kind of days. Yeah, it's um, you know it's that, that time again uh, where it's an in induction day for for our young uh, scholars to be uh, going forward. And um, you know today we get them we get them in so we can give them a real overview of what's ahead of them for the next couple of years, uh, along with their parents and uh, answer some of their questions, um, give them the insight into you know the training week and everything that goes along with being a scholar at our football club. I mean, we've got young boys here today that. Some of them have been with us since nine and some have come in later to the academy. So it's a real opener today for them and it's, um, it's great to all see them here, you know. It's a very um, transitional sort of uh, couple of years for them this in, in every respect, off, on and off the pitch. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you've got a, you're a young player that's been here since the age of nine, it's a good few years until you get to this stage. And of course, you know, that, that, that's only the scholarship level, so there's a long way to go from there. So every year is a, a, a transition, but... Probably this is one of the biggest jumps when you go from under-16 football into sort of full-time scholarship football, you know, where they'll be with us day in, day out, and it, it becomes a job. It's their first job is in their sort of careers, you know. And, it, and it's fantastic for you as well. When we see some of the examples you're able to give, and you can talk about John Nabita, Rob Dickey and things like that in the examples of, of the kind of pathways they, they, they can look at and say, well, we can emulate that. Yeah, we, you know, there's lots of players we can reference to, and we have done through the day of uh, who was sitting out in front front of us um, years gone by that are now playing in the first team or have gone on to play elsewhere so you know they've got a they've got benchmarks to work to they've got you know as I've said before there's the door's been knocked down in terms of players that have gone on into our first team as everybody knows so it's a fantastic opportunity for them to to really flourish and work with the staff in the coming years to hopefully help them to get where they want to get. You mentioned opportunity and I think there's very few places to offer the same kind of level of uh, kind of hit rate if you like of, of being here today and, and, and actually finally kicking kick a ball for the first team isn't it? There's not many clubs that can kind of boast such a proud record. Yeah you know we, we just got to keep working as hard as we can um, and that hard work is on and off the pitch you know that comes from the parents support that comes from the players and the staff as well. All we can ever do at Reading is continue to to, to work hard and work to our targets and, and hopefully we can continue to help develop these young people because you know we're, we're developing people here the the parents are entrusting us to to work with with you know their, their young sons um, and we've got to make sure that we're developing people and, and then we can also help that with developing players too for us it's both